Hoş geldiniz. Welcome. Distinguished friends and guests. Birer sireli paragamner. Havalu ho girno am hami khair hatun. Başka Welcome to the memory sites, memory paths towards another future conference. This is a very meaningful gathering that will most probably shake our memories and our hearts as well, make us ruminate. And just like you put silver in fire to purify it, it will actually be an opportunity for us to revisit what we think we know. Dear friends, as you know, her hunting foundation was established on the name of my beloved husband, who was killed because of racism, discrimination, violence, hate, and as a result of a mentality of arrogance and selfishness, with open threats, insults, defamation, and as a result of lies. And we established this foundation to uh, own his memory, which is also the memory and history of Turkey as well. And we had so much work to do in our newly established foundation, together with our friends who took an oath with us. I don't know if you ever had that feeling feeling when you tasted the salty tears of sorrow, pain and grief and when you had your ears burning of pain and I don't know if you ever uh, felt as if you would cut your skin, you would have flames and fire burst out of it. One day as you would sing and chant like birds and the next day you weren't even able to sing a hymn because you had a lump in your throat and you're not able to breathe or make a sound. Do you know that feeling? But even uh, during that situation, you can hear in your heart angels singing hymns for you. Dear friends, we want to continue Huran's legacy and his struggle. So we are carrying our sorrow and uh, grief and the heaviness of living without him. But on the other hand, uh, as we cry deep inside, we also would like to find love, remember to smile again, forget, live and make others live. As a result of uh, this uh, effort, we are going to uh, inaugurate 23 and a half ranting site of memory on 23rd and 24th of April, right where Hurant was assassinated. We hope that 23 and a half Huranting site of memory will focus on universal values that Hurant owned up to, such as human rights, democracy, equality, justice, and it will uh, give ho us hope for the future by bringing the memory of the past to the future. And I hope it will be a, a space, a venue that will feed mutual understanding and create awareness. As we were getting prepared for this venue, our one and only Nayat Karaköse from our foundation visited memory sites all around the world and she blended what she has learned in those places with what we wanted to do here in Turkey. And with this conference today, we have experts who are working hard to make sure that memory is transferred into the future. And we wanted to bring uh, together with you all these inspiring organizations. And we're not only going to talk about memorialization of what happened in the past, but we also will think about how we will memorialize what we are going through today for the future. Every day, many people continue to be killed for different reasons. In the world, we see a rising trend of polarization, radicalization, and unfortunately, people continue to kill those uh, people who think are different and violate their rights. Just uh, this week, we had the Muslims killed in New Zealand and their pain is still uh, very fresh. And unfortunately, we don't take lessons from what's happening in our country. For instance, we had those brutally killed uh, during the Malatya Zirve publishing house massacre just because of the fact that they were Christians. Did this event take place uh, in social memory of our country? Or 34 people who were bombed and killed in Uludere, that was such a pain. A couple of women, we went to visit them and that was such a 
sad environment, imagine that in all households of the village they had the pain of death. Who would console who? Who would pay condolences to who? They were not able to identify the uh, perpetrator and nobody cared. And we didn't confront this and imagine the massacre of Ankara train station, bodies shattered. And we have the Saturday mothers who are still not able to find an interlocutor and their children, spouses and fathers were killed under detention and they're not even allowed to gather right here where we are today at the Galatasaray Square and their effort is one of the most important memorialization efforts in our country. They are not converting their pain into hatred and relentlessly they are asking for justice. And what about the massacres of Gezi? How are we going to remember them and many more things? Shouldn't we talk about these things? What shall we do? Should we continue to deny all these things just like those who have denied everything in the past in history or should we remain silent and turn a blind eye on these things? Here we have today very distinguished speakers who were kind enough to accept our uh, invitation, who came here, who made contribution so that we will say never again to many crimes that were perpetrated all around the world, who have been working on the memorialization of all these events. This is an era where speaking, even speaking or signing a petition for peace has a price to pay, but these days will most definitely come to an end and we will have to find a way to talk about what uh, happened today uh, and transfer these uh, this memory to the future generations. Uh, we established 23 and a half around things site of memory with this understanding. We want to actually present the next generations uh, with this information. We want a world whereby we don't have, this, have the same pains repeated again, where we can live together in patience, with consciousness, perseverance and with hope. Thank you.